Hi guys, thought I'd do another video. A bit of a headache, so I'm chilling in the dark. Right, guys, this is my second um, uh, vlog on probation. Now, I don't want to knock them too much because probation, even though they've been forced on me at times. They've actually done me a lot of good. But it has to be said that out of all the probation orders I've completed, I don't think I ever... If I didn't get on with the probation officer, then I wasn't... The, the order didn't go well. So, basically, when you get probation... If you don't get on with your probation officer, you ain't got a hope in hell's chance. It kind of brings me back to this... We call them Alpha David, aren't they? Yeah, I was reading a guy's depths to positions. And there was, a uh, there was a probation report. And they'd done a probation report on him. And this guy was a bit savage. And the probation officer actually said that the meeting didn't go well and uh, the, hit, the guy threatened to kill the probation officer. So the probation officer feared for his life and he recommended prison and this is a, this is about five, six years ago. And um, he recommended prison. This guy was a danger to the public. And this was what was put on a report by a Crown Court judge. But the Crown Court judge actually, the first time I'd ever heard of that, actually ignored the report and said it was, he was a spiteful probation officer. So that guy was lucky. He was lucky. I don't think he got, I can't remember what happened, he didn't get much of a sentence, it wasn't, you know. But that probation officer was an evil little shit. Now, I actually know that probation officer. I'm not going to say his name. I'd love to say his name. I'd love to. But it's just not right, is it? Horrible little, horrible little asshole is what he was. But, you know, he's in Reading. He was in Reading. But, you know, if I say any more, I'll tell you his name. But I don't want to do that. Anyway, so basically, if you're not getting on with your probation officer, you haven't got a help, a hell's chance. I've met loads of people, oh, I went on probation. A probation officer that they all said was a fucking idiot, I got on pretty well with. It was all right, you know? So you've got to uh, look at some of the people who are telling you these stories, you know? Probation will do you a lot of good. They'll also do you a lot of harm. So my, my, uh, I submit that if you just go in and be a little bit submissive, don't go in there with all guns blaring, thinking you know it all. You know, when you go to court and they tell you you're going to get probation, you either take it or you don't. If you're not going to take it, then don't bother going to the probation office, you know. Just do what you've got to do and go back to prison. But if you accept probation, then try and get the help that, you know, you and your probation officer will work out a strategy. And you have plans. You have so many plans for so many weeks, you know. And, and they'll ask you to... They'll ask you to, to set out a plan about, you know. And I, I never knew what I was doing, you know. And, I, I, and, and they, you know, it just didn't go well, the plan. But, but you could see I was trying. You know, how, how can you say what's going to happen next week? You can say perhaps what state of mind you're going to be in. But you can't, you can't, um, you can't see into the future. That's a dog annoying me in the corner. She's all right, aren't you, babe? Yes. Anyway, so, there are some more juicy probation stories I could mention. I was actually in a probation office in Reading. And I'd just 
I've not long been out of Bullingdon. This is for a driving offence because I was a pretty bad driver on the you know, uh, disqualified driving charges. I just wouldn't stop doing it. Cody knows how many times I've been done for it, but I'm not going to broadcast it on here because it's not necessary. But I've been done for driving off disqualified a few times. Anyway, I'd gone in to meet this new probation officer and we'd been in the uh, meeting for about 15 minutes. And I hear this tap at the door and this guy comes in, this kind of like well-built guy comes in. He says, just a minute, mate, he says to me. Hope you don't mind. Probation officer's just going to say something, you know, what you're doing. Bang! He hits him straight on the forehead. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Of course, then probation's run out and he's in tears. Couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And, and the probation officer was a woman. So the guy to do that, you know, so they have to put up with a lot of probation officers. But... That, that just shocked me. You know, well, it would shock anybody, wouldn't it? So, basically, probation is one of those things, you know, if you're not a person who can get on with people, if you can't sit and plan and talk about your offending or whatever it is you've got to talk about, then probation isn't for you. But if you can, see, a lot of people just get probation to get, say, themselves a prison sentence. Really, you're not saving yourself a prison sentence because all the probation officer will do then is all they'll do then is um, make sure you go to prison by giving you a shitty report. No, oh, he didn't turn up here. He didn't turn up there. Blah, 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 all that bullshit. So, basically, probation is what you make of it. It's like anything, really. But I just thought I'd um, share that with you. But yeah, that one in Reading, you know, when when she got that smack, you know. When I certainly wasn't going to argue with the geese, you get up and say, what are you doing? You know, it's none of my business. Some of you guys might have done, I don't know. Perhaps you can let us know in the comments what you'd have done. You know, if you were sitting in a meeting, you're talking to your probation officer, somebody goes in, they've obviously got a grievance with them. He's, you know, I think he just, I think he said he just got out of prison, and then bang! You know, so yeah, I'd be interested to know what you do. So let us know in the comments. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. It's been seven minutes, so, and I'll do another one on this. But, uh, respect to you guys and, um, share and, you know, all the rest of it. Take it easy.